engineer. I want to be a singer. I want to go to communications and media studies. I'm interested in engineering and the math and science kind of. I'm actually going to graphic design next year uh, in New York City. Well, I think it's just an exciting new addition and it's going to offer so much to the students. It's going to give them a, a space where they can be creative and, and, they, and give them skills that they could use down the road. And I know they're all excited and the staff's pumped about it. So um, this, is really, this is really exciting and to be part of it is just an incredible privilege. As the girls that are in the school are learning things that they're going to share. And, um, and it's that kind of um, enriched learning um, that I think benefits um, everyone. I think this, uh, the Centre for Arts and Design is going to be a major change for the school and really influences what the kids' direction will be. And it's their future. That's what it's all about, is the future. But singing helps you not only express yourself so much more, you get into to be other characters and and step into other people's shoes. And I think singing is a really good thing for people to learn. In middle school, it's really important to be balanced. That's one of the qualities of the beach profile of a graduate. And to be able to be balanced, I think exploring these new things in arts, um, along with academics, is really important. Singing and dancing is a way to express yourself, and it's also a way to just say what you're feeling and. It's a way to just let other people know what you can do. And hopefully with that knowledge of performing arts, I can go like behind the scenes with um, TV shows and actors and kind of already know what works behind the stage. This is like, I know people, they've made their own like, vases and they sell them like several shops online that I've seen. They like 3D print their own custom models or like ones specified from the customers and they order them and then they send them off and they use like 3D printers to make them. So that was, was pretty cool to see that you can make your own art without getting your hands messy, which is something I don't really like to do. But So I was thinking if engineering is something I would like to go into as maybe a plan B or maybe plan A, um, then it would be very beneficial uh, because they do a lot of work with computers and yeah it would just I think learning it now rather than in university is a really good opportunity. I think the center will be great for younger students because they'll be able to use all the technology sooner than I was able to or other students my age were able to so they'll be able to familiarize themselves with it faster and they'll be prepared for when they're older and they have to go off to find a job. little kindergartners are being exposed to virtual reality and spheros and all these different like computer things yeah. at such a young age. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. I was proud to be on the board of directors and uh, very proud to have Vicki make her 30 years. It's a milestone celebration. So that's really terrific. Leah won't be a student when the center's up and running, but she will be an alum and all uh, Belmore Hall alumni want BH to be strong. And as good as it possibly can be. Exactly. For future students' education, please give today. We should all be excited for the arts like I am. Give today. Give, give today. today. Give 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 today. Thank you.